Hi, this is Alessio Rostani, our leading trader. Hope you're well. In this video, I want to talk to you about a very interesting signal, and it's called the kiss of death sell signal. And I want to explain to you whether this particular pattern or signal is likely to occur this year, and what could it mean if it does happen? Because the question many people are asking right now is, okay, the stock market has had a massive drop, as you probably have noticed back in December of last year, uh, just about a month, just about a few weeks ago, we had this massive, incredible drop, which of course we'd expected. And then of course we had this massive, very nice bounce off of that drop. So the question is, now that we're in a bear market, in fact, as you can see here, the start of this massive 19 to 20% drop really began from September. But the big question, of course, is, okay, so now what? What is the most likely scenario for the major markets, the stock markets? So this is where we come to discussing what's called the kiss of death sell signal. Let me explain to you what this is. This is a monthly chart of the stock market, the S&P 500. Now, of course, you can also try this on the chart of the Dow if you wanted to, uh, or indeed another uh, market if you like. But I like to use the S&P chart because the S&P actually tends to be more reliable because we're looking at 500 stocks as opposed to just 30 stocks in the Dow. So as you can see here, uh, this is the, again, this is the monthly chart, and this is the 2018. This is on the right-hand side, you can see this is the action on the monthly chart uh, from 2018, 2019, so here it is. All right, uh, this green bar that you see here is the new 2019, the, the January 2019 uh, action on the stock market. Now, the question, of course, is, so what is this kiss of death sell signal and why is, that Im why is it important? Okay, so what I want to first of all show you is this. You will see that after this major drop that occurred, again, remember, the drop really started from September. This is the peak we had in September of last year. Uh, we started the major drop, as you can see here. And then notice the price went below the 21 monthly average in December. Okay, This blue line you see here on my chart, this blue line is the 21 monthly exponential moving average, or just call it the 21 monthly EMA. Um, and for those of you not familiar with what a moving average is, it essentially averages out the price for every 21 months. It's a very important level on the chart. It is often the dividing line between bull and bear market. Often when price falls below the 21 monthly average, you usually see the start of a bear market. But there is something that needs to happen first. You see, it is not enough for the price to fall below the 21 monthly average, below the blue line. What needs to happen secondly is what's called a kiss of death sell signal to confirm that we are entering a much more serious bear market or a market crash. Let me explain to you why. Because notice that when the price fell below the 21 monthly average, we've now seen the price coming back to test it again. Okay, let me just bring this a bit closer so we can see this much more clearly. Okay, so notice the price, of course, has seen a bounce, as you know, and you can see the price has come back and is now getting very close to testing or kissing that 21 monthly average, the blue line. This is what's called kissing the 21 monthly average. Now, let me just explain to you uh, some context about this, give you some background. If we go back to the last major crash that occurred back in 2007, 2008, take a look at this chart here first. Okay, so this actually will make things much more easier to explain. In the last major crash that we had, and of course the last major recession, the last major economic recession that we had in the world, notice we had a very similar pattern. Price made a top, then drop below the 21 monthly average, as you can see right there. It dropped below the 21 monthly average, closed below it, and then notice what happened afterwards. Price made a bounce, it bounced back, and tested or kissed the 21 EMA, the 21 monthly average, the blue line. And what happened next is that the price then re got rejected, it really got rejected from that 21 monthly average, and then fell below it, as you can see from that red bar. So that red bar shows that after, let me just show you, after the price came to test the 21 monthly average, let me just bring this a bit closer so we can see it a bit more, much more clearly. So after the price fell below the 21 monthly average, it came back, tested it or kissed it, as you can see right there on that bar, kissed it and then kissed it goodbye. Why? Because the price got rejected from that level. It essentially sold off from that level. And it eventually, 
eventually, of course, it took out the previous lows. You can see it took out the previous lows on the next bar. That is what's called in chart analysis as the kiss of death sell signal. So what you need to see is first the kiss or the test of that moving average and then kissing it goodbye by the rejection. All right. And by the way, notice that after the kiss of death sell signal that occurred there, we went into a much bigger, much more serious crash that occurred. And of course, the stock market eventually dropped by about 50% back in 2007, 2008, the, the major crash of 2008. Okay, so you can see the S&P, by the way, after that occurred, the S&P dropped from 1400 uh, at the moving average, all the way down to below 700. Okay, so let me show you one more example. If you just go back to the last major, uh, the one, the crash before that, this is the one, this is the crash that we had in the year 2000, 2001. So again, very similar situation, very similar scenario. Again, notice the market made a top back in the year 2000. It dropped below the 21 monthly average. It bounced back to it again. You can see there's the kiss, okay? There's the retest or the kiss of the 21 monthly average and the rejection from that level. Essentially, it's the kiss of death sell signal. So just to be clear, there's the bounce back to kiss the moving average, the 21 monthly average, and then the rejection from that selling bar, which dropped below the previous lows, the prior lows. That is what's called the kiss of death sell signal, which by the way, occurred a few months before the 9-11 attacks. Okay, so this major sell bar you see here, that major drop bar you see there, that major drop essentially is a 9-11 attacks, which of course forced the stock market to drop further lower. But notice that really the market was already in a bear market. We had already got the kiss of death sell signal months before the 9-11 attacks. Okay, and you can see after the kiss of death sell signal, the market went into a much bigger, much more serious crash. The S&P fell from about um, 1350, all the way down to almost 800. Why does all this matter? Because something very similar could be happening right now on the markets, although it's not confirmed yet. A uh, couple of things to mention. We got something similar to this back in the year 2010, 2011, except the difference is there was no kiss of death sell signal in those years. In the year 2010, yes, there was a drop uh, below the 21 monthly average. And yes, there was a kiss of the 21 monthly average, but there was no kiss of death because the price did not fall below the prior lows. There must be a drop and fall below the prior lows to confirm the kiss of death. That did not happen in 2010, and it did not happen in 2011 either. Because in 2011, yes, there was a drop below the 21 monthly average, and there was a kiss of, uh, of the 21 monthly average, or the test of it, but there was no kiss of death because the price did not get rejected. It did not fall below those lows. So. In 2011, 2010, we did not get the kiss of death sell signal, and therefore, as a result, we did not fall into, into a major bear market. In 2015, we did get the kiss of death sell signal, but of course, unfortunately, in that year, that was a false signal. So you can see in 2015, yes, we did get the drop below the 21 monthly average and the kiss of the 21 monthly average and the rejection, but unfortunately, that happened to be a false signal. Just like everything in technical analysis, it's not gonna work every single time, but it works the majority of the time. Now, let's take a look at this chart here in 2018. And the big question we're asking right now is, could this be, could this pattern be repeating itself this year? Okay, and again, um, as we've seen before in 2008 and in 2001, when this pattern occurred, it resulted in a much bigger, much more serious crash in the market. So you can see we had the, again, just to repeat, we had the drop and the close below the 21 monthly average. We've got the kiss almost, I mean, we haven't got there yet. I think if we, if the S&P gets to 20, uh, 2617 or 2620, then we'll have the kiss confirmed. And then the next thing you want to watch out for, the next thing we will have to be waiting for is whether there's a rejection. So the next thing we have to wait for after the kiss is will there be a massive drop below the prior lows, below the lows of December that confirms the rejection and it confirms the kiss of death sell signal. At present, it hasn't happened yet, and we're not saying it's gonna happen. It's just something we have to be patient for and see if it happens. So we want to be prepared in case the signal repeats itself this year, in case we see the kiss of death sell signal this year, which I think probably, if it's gonna happen, it needs to happen by, I think, February or March, okay? No later, I would say, than February or March. Uh, but let's see what happens. All right, guys, so that's the kiss of death sell signal, and let's see if that actually gets borne out this year, all right? Again, we have to wait for the rejection before the kiss of death is confirmed. And remember, if it gets confirmed, 
then potentially that could mean we're heading for a much more serious crash like we had in 2008. And we could see the markets crashing to 2100 or even to 2000 levels if the pattern repeats itself this year. All right, guys, hope this video helps. And if it has, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe for future video updates. Thanks a lot.